In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a negative keyword list for your Google ad campaigns. I'm also going to show you how to find the keywords that you should be including in that negative keyword list. And creating a negative keyword list is vitally important. It can save you a ton of money. Here's why. So I'm in a Google ad account here and this campaign, I've actually got the search terms report up for a campaign that's designed to sell interior design courses that are delivered online. And we can see in the search terms report, which shows which searches have caused our ads to be shown people to click on our ads, that's costing us money. You can see that some of these are not relevant at all to what it is that we're actually offering. And we would rather our ads didn't weren't shown to these people searching for this stuff and therefore people weren't clicking on and wasting our budget. Now, if for example, home design software free, that triggered one of our ads to be shown, someone clicked on it, that is absolutely something we don't want. That is a big waste of money. We want to make sure that anyone searching for home design software free um, is not shown our ads. And that's what negative keywords do. If we were to add in the negative keyword software or the negative keyword free, both things we would want to do in this campaign, that would cause that would mean that anyone searching for a term that includes the word software or includes the word free, our ad would not be shown. And as I said, no one's going to therefore click on it, waste our budget, etc. So negative keywords are absolutely essential. They're particularly important if you're using broad match, to some extent, even phrase match keywords in your Google ad campaigns, because we know that the searches that our ads are shown for are likely to, in some cases, be less relevant to whatever it is that we offer. So very, very important to have a solid, comprehensive negative keyword list if you're using broad match keywords. And if you've been running Google Ads so far, and let's say you're generating customers from it, you're generating leads, generating conversions, but they're a bit expensive, you'd like them to be cheaper, your business, your campaigns would be more profitable if you could do it. Creating a solid negative keyword list, which does take time, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, is absolutely the best way to go about doing that. Getting rid of all those wasted clicks, all those people that clicked through onto your website, but they weren't the right people in the first place. We can tell that based on their search term. They were never going to convert. That's a waste. Getting rid of all of them is how you do it. Okay, so how do you go about actually creating a negative keyword list? How do you add negative keywords? Well, there's a number of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you a bunch of those and show you how to find good options. The simplest way is just to click on this negative keywords on the left hand side and then this big plus button up here. Then when it comes to creating our negative keyword list, we can either um, add negative keywords directly into a campaign, directly into an ad group level. Obviously, you need to select the right campaign, ad group, etc. Or we can create a separate negative keyword list that's sort of a separate entity that we could then use um, in campaigns and things going forward. If you know that your negative keyword list that you're creating now is likely to apply to future campaigns, that's a good way to go. Now, there are certain negative keywords that just about everyone's going to want to add in. These would be words like free, um, cheap, cheapest. Now, I'm assuming here that that's not one of your selling points, that you're not the cheapest in the market, in which case, if you are and you are proud of that fact and you really want to promote it, then by all means, don't use that as a negative keyword. But most people are not going to want to include something like that. The same with free, obviously. Again, I'm of course assuming here that you're not offering something free on the front end. If you are, then you want to leave that in. But for the most part, businesses want to exclude those options because people searching for those terms, they're not the right sort of prospects. Then there are things that you need to think about that are specific to your industry, okay? So branded terms, for example, if I was selling football boots, but I just sell Adidas football boots, I don't sell any from Nike, then I'd absolutely want to include Nike as a negative keyword because any search term that includes that word, I do not want my ads to be shown for. When people click through, um, they're gonna be searching for Nike football boots. If they can't find them, they're gonna click off. That's wasted my budget. I'm gonna show more information around how to find which branded terms to include. Um, in a minute, because that's a really important point and can, can make a big difference. The next thing that you would want to think about including here as a negative keyword is terms that are specific to your industry that people might be searching for that perhaps you don't provide that your competitors might. So for example, let's say I was an accountant and I offer accounting services, but I don't do bookkeeping, in which case I would want to make sure that I include, if I can spell it correctly, bookkeeping as a negative keyword, because some people will be searching for things like accountancy and bookkeeping services. Now, I don't want my ad to appear for that if I just provide accountancy services because someone's going to click through, realize that on my website, they're going to leave. That's a big waste of money. I'd much rather just uh, just advertise to the people searching for accountancy services and things related to that 
Um, that's a good example there. There's gonna be different ones depending on what it is that you offer. The next way to add negative keywords to a list, campaign, ad group, etc., is to come back into the search terms report and to select the option. So if we go back to this home design software free, once I've highlighted, you can see I can add as negative keyword and I can add that into the ad group it's in. Uh, it was you know, generated in the campaign or a specific negative keyword list. Now doing this, very, very important to be aware that Google will default to the entire term and as an exact match. So anyone searching for home design software free in the future, once they've added this, will not see my ad. But because this is exact match, and it's got the entire term in there, if someone was to search for home design software without the word free, my ad would likely still be shown. So keep that in mind and explain more about keyword match types when it comes to negative keywords later on, because that's a really important topic. But what I would often do here is, yes, you could add that in as a negative keyword, but don't stop there. Make sure you also add in, as we already discussed, software because we're not selling software here or the word free because these interior design courses are not free again add that in just as a completely separate keyword by itself so that if someone does search for home design software or free design software all those will be excluded very important point but that's a good way to find negative keywords and if you have been running google ad campaigns already they're up and live definitely take some time and come through this search terms report, take a look at all the options and really go through and go, aha, that's not right. So for another example might be art and design colleges. Okay, well this, what we're selling here is interior design courses that are sold online. It's not in a physical location like a college. So maybe we'd want to get rid of the word college, colleges, add those in as negative keywords. Art and design, maybe want to get rid of the word art. Um, it's interior design, that's really what's being focused on here. That's kind of a different thing to art design. So we'd want to add in art as a negative keyword, but come through this list, take some time, and on an ongoing basis, as someone who's managing either your own or clients Google ad campaigns, this is something you definitely want to monitor closely. We check our search terms reports on our campaigns, on our clients' campaigns all the time, because no matter how good your keyword list is when you get started, there's always going to be things that come up here that you didn't anticipate that you go, aha, okay, I can see why that came up, but we don't want it. Let's go ahead and add that as a negative keyword. So put this on your to-do list that perhaps you do it once a week, maybe more often, maybe less, depending on the search volume you generate and build up that negative keyword list. That really is gonna help you get better results over the long run. Okay, the next and most comprehensive way to find keywords that you want to add to a negative keyword list is to use the Google Keyword Planner. So go ahead over to Tools and Settings and then click on Keyword Planner. Then I'm going to select Discover New Keywords and then you want to add in the main keywords that you're planning on targeting with your campaigns. So if I use the previous example here of accountancy services and then get results, we can see that Google has provided 486 um, keyword ideas and we would want to go through this list and find all the searches that have been suggested, all the keywords that have been suggested that we absolutely don't want anything to have a part of, we want to exclude. So a classic example, if I operate a small accountancy firm or any accountancy firm that is not the big four, I would definitely want to add in big four as a negative keyword. We've already discussed that bookkeeping could be something that I absolutely don't want to include if I don't offer bookkeeping services. Going down, tax accounting, is that something you offer? Is it not? That might be something that you want to um, get rid of. Carrying on down, we can see that there are some search terms that are likely to be highly, highly relevant, like accounting firms near me, that could be a great option. But things like debits and credits, probably not. You might be someone looking for an explanation of debits and credits, something like that. That's not the sort of person we want to be advertising to. So you want to come through these lists. I would go through all 486 keyword ideas and take that time, identify all the keywords that you go, no, that's not right. We're not a big four accounting firm. Anyone search for big four, that's got to go. We don't do bookkeeping, that's got to go. We don't do tax, we specialize in, you know, whatever it is that it happens to be. Um, someone searching for things like debits and credits. Okay, that's probably someone um, looking to educate themselves around the topic. Again, they're not looking for accountancy services. Go through all these, it takes time, it's well worth it. Getting this key, negative keyword list right, as I said, is gonna massively reduce your cost per conversion um, and gonna make your campaigns a lot more profitable. Uh, once you've been through all of those, another thing I would strongly recommend is checking out the refine keywords tool on the right hand side. And one of the quickest things 
I've already mentioned this earlier around excluding branded terms that aren't relevant to you. One of the quickest and easiest ways to find those is in here, in this Revine um, keywords tool on the right hand side. So we can see software, for example, things like QuickBooks, Zero, Waves. Okay, do you operate with those? If you do, great, you could, don't need to leave those in. If you don't, perhaps you only operate with Zero um, as your software of choice, you don't use QuickBooks. Well, then you would want to make sure that you excluded um, all the, you'd want to add in as a negative keyword, the term QuickBooks, because you want to exclude all the searches that include the term QuickBooks, okay? You may also have some other options on this right-hand side. So for example, you might want to exclude um, competitors, other companies' names that come up. Some advertisers like to use a strategy to specifically go after people searching for competitors' names, but you really need to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you can waste a lot of money. You get a lot of accidental clicks. Um, so obviously, you know, big players in the accounting industry like EY and PwC, you would almost certainly, in this case, want to want to exclude those. Uh, and then there's going to be lots of other options that you may or may not want to exclude. You can need to go through these. And then, so that's brand or non-brand is sort of what's come up as that top category and usually does there are going to be other options here different services so you could just remove all searches related to tax for example if you didn't um, use tax by adding that in as a negative keyword so i strongly recommend you come through the options that google provides on this right hand side very very useful it's going to look different depending on what you've entered as the keyword that you're actually going to target we've used accountancy services here and I'd recommend you do this with all your main terms, not every single keyword that you're going to target, but perhaps if you've got main terms for different ad groups, you might have five or six different options. Go through this process for each one of those. I know it takes time, but it is worth doing. And just to quickly demonstrate, once you've got a keyword that you want to add as a negative keyword, you can do so directly from the Keyword Planner. For example, if I select Big Four Consulting, I can click on More, Add as Negative Keyword, and I can select which uh, match type, I want that to go in as a negative keyword. And I mentioned that briefly earlier when we were using the search terms report to find negative keywords. And this is really important. Using the right match type with obviously your regular keywords, but also your negative keywords is essential. When you add in a keyword as a negative keyword from the search terms report, it's automatically, automatically going to go in as exact match. That may or may not be right. When you're adding in negative keywords from the first method I showed you where you're just using the tool to add negative keywords, that's gonna automatically go in as a broad match. Again, that might not be right. So to make sure you're using the right keyword match types to both your regular keywords and your negative keywords, I created this video here that explains all, shows you which ones you want to use in which scenarios. I'd strongly recommend you take a few minutes and go through it.